Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be playing Balloons TD6. It's a tower defense uh, game. I had it on my tablet for years. I got it off the Epic Store. It was free. I think it's actually still free now. Uh, and I just, you know, put it on my computer so I can play from my computer instead of having to have my tablet with me. Today what I'm going to do is show you some A strategy um, and, and share some thoughts with you about the game. Now, I usually play social because you know me, I like social games and I like playing with people. So let's see, I'm going to go to quick match. I'm going to leave it on any difficulty, any game. I'm going to hit go and I'm going to use the escape button to cancel out if I don't like what I see. So I'm going to hit go. Hard in these are the perfect. I love this here. Hard difficulty. Really, um, the improbable, probable, I guess I'm saying that. You can't let any balloons go by you with this setup. And you're playing with, well, we're trying to get a fourth player. Uh, I like playing with three players with this game because you don't get any lag. You don't have any downtime. I'm going to hit OK. The hero that I play with 99% of the time is this... Um, this hero here, um, got, my mouse is over it. This hero gives me um, money each round. Right now, we're just seeing what they're doing here. I'm going to get in on this right here just to help with early on with this scenario because you can't have any balloons go by. You'll want to try to do what you... Well, okay, he took away um, that, what he had put there to put in those this gunner all right oh and then he put back uh, you know sometimes you play with people that don't understand the game how wasteful it is to sell something to just replace the same thing uh you know selling towers in this game i'm going to be selling this guy right here very soon uh you don't sell it just to put it right back and it's just a waste of because i'm going to sell it now i mean because right now they've got plenty of stuff on the map to, to get me to the 1,295 that I need to get this guy, this this hero out. You get one hero to choose from, and you and I always choose this one. You can go and choose whatever hero you feel is compatible with your play style. For me, it's about money, generating as much money as possible over the time of the game. Now, with this game, we gotta go to 100 rounds. So this is a longer game than the normal hard, which is only 80 rounds. Between the 80 and 100 rounds, that's where the game really gets hard. What the hell? Somebody's put, oh, see what they're doing, These this person just pulled something out of their, their, um, their powers list. You now you earn uh, monkey cash in this game every time you win I'm just gonna stick this guy up here now that he's on the map he'll generate me wealth so this is kind of silly at this point because this person just wasted a lot of monkey cash or he had that in his powers list to put that down I don't typically these are pa pa you know these are towers that I've earned I don't usually gimp the game by using these unless I feel like I just want a lazy game so I never use the powers. And this person just dropped this tower down. So really, you know, I'm still going to be able to show you my strategy. It just seems silly that that guy decided to, to put that tower down. Because he's, he's not making this game hard. He's just making it easy mode. Now I just put a farm down. These farms are expensive, but they generate you cash as they produce bananas. And in this case, I have to have my mouse over them. Watch, they'll get created. You have to pick them up manually. If you don't want to pick them up manually, there is a power you can use, a farmer, he's right here, that you can use to pick them up. Now, for me, you know, I don't mind keeping my mouse here, over here. I would have added towers to this map to help support their need. Um, so up till now but I don't have to because of the ridiculousness of them put and this is one of the most powerful things in the game and you know it's just what it is so it's just like don't they don't really need my help so right now 
the best thing you want to do is get to a monkey bank quick and that's the middle tree here on the farm get to the monkey bank and what i by this time i normally would have a um depending on what the other players played i normally either have a druid or i would have a um a ninja out help support this before i get into doing my plan the key is is to get your hero out and get the monkey bank as quickly as possible usually i'm at round 45 by the time i do this because again i normally would have to support the team but now we're doing it at round 37 so we're good to go to start my strategy so what you want to do oh and he's even dropping more um powers down he just dropped you know a crate down i mean i don't know what this guy's thinking because what he's doing is he's only earning 30 cash for, if we win this we're only earning 30 cash he's already wasted well 300 cash and then if this cost him anything i mean he could be thousand in but that's you know i don't like games that people use the powers i really just don't i i like playing the games with just the towers and, and whatnot but well, it is what it is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my first druid down. Uh, it's uh, I'm just going to put it right here. It doesn't matter where you put it. And what you want is the middle power. And you want it up to the druid, uh, druid of the jungle. Bam. Now, what's great about the druid is he can be anywhere on the map and this power will work. See, I am now destroying the, the balloons before they even get on the map because of the, that power. And what you want to do is now bring out your um, a uh, tower, and you want to include that monkey in the tower. Try to get as much real estate here as possible. And now what you need to do is make use the middle of the monkey village. That's what it is. It's the monkey village. I paid fourteen ten for it. You want the middle ability here. That's and we should go to the bank and see if we've got money to pull out so we can pull money out of the bank That's free because what it is is you get interest for everything you earn. That's why that's so powerful So right now my druid can now hit uh, uh, Any balloon that's on the map because what it is is there's certain balloons like ca uh, Camo balloons you can't see unless you're a ninja or you have the camo ability I'm also going to go back up to the um uh, banana farm and I'm gonna do the the first tier here to increase its production so right now it generates me interest on the cash and it's uh, and it's creating the monkey uh, coins as it goes it's the best thing to, the, to do I mean it, it really is and now that we've got 7,000 coin I mean right now we're doing probably 70% of the killing right now just with that one druid that's how crazy those druids are i'm just going to create another bank and and do the same powers so now i got two banks running so now that i've got that done i'm going to put another druid on the map i'm going to put it right here and i'm going to use the same the same ability you don't need to choose the other abilities uh, you know what's great is when if you're on a map and they've only given you a certain spot that you're not even near the track that's why this strategy works. The, the druid can be literally anywhere on the map, not even near the track to, to kill the, the balloons. And you'll, uh, and you'll be able to hit them. Especially if you've got the tower next to you with the radar scanner. Allows all monkeys and the radius to catch the combo. Now, it wouldn't hurt for me to, to boost the radius and to boost their attack speed, which I will do. So when we get to the 1800, we'll be able to do that. We should be able to do that now. We'll be able to, oh, we're at 10,000 already from those banks. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, actually go here and we're going to do the jungle and then we're going to do the monkey intelligence, which allows any monkey or any tower you place down within the radius of this tower to basically be godlike to any variety of, of uh, balloons that come down the down the thing so we're just going to add another druid all right so at this time now that you've got three of them down this is when you want to choose this guy right here uh, let me double click on him he's the the alchemist so you want to grab him and you want to put him right above your tower here 
so that anything within the range okay well i didn't mean to hit that anything within the range of the alchemist he's gonna you want these potions so you want to get as high as possible because what the alchemist is doing is he's he's basically juicing those druids up by using this alchemy ability so they actually he, he basically pours like a super cocktail into them and they and they do eight or nine times their damage so as soon as you can get the alchemist out then what's happening here is right now I am probably killing 80% of the balloons that are coming down the track right now because of just these three druids that I have out. So let's see what we've got for money here for the banks. Let's collect the 10 grand and we're going to go to the alchemist. We're going to cap him off. We don't need the other abilities from the alchemist. We only need the brew or the potions to juice up those, uh, those druids. Now what I'm going to do is the druid here, I'm going to boost it one more to the jungle bounty. Because it does, the, it, even though I don't really, I mean, you can, this one, this, uh, when you do the jungle bounty, it gives you an ability at the bottom of my screen here, you'll see where my mouse is, to, to get cash income from that. But you have to have, you have to have farms within the radius of the, of the druid for that to happen. And I've got two farms, these are still considered farms. So when I use this ability, watch, I'll get... I got 580 coin from using that ability. What I'm, but what I really want from the, the next step, let me go into this and do a collect. What I really want from the jungle bounty, jungle bounty's ability generates cash each use plus extra cash per banana farm near the druid. Call, and it also calls in two additional vines to grab balloons and thorn piles to have extra pierce. So that's really what I'm looking for. What I'm hoping to do, and what I will do, is get to the spirit of the forest, and that's just game over at that at that point. That's why you want the um, the the banks, the for them to make you for, to make you good money. Now, the druids are not that great against the bigger, big those big ones, the mobs, I guess they call them. And uh, so you want to, you know, if, you, if you've got people you're playing with that don't know what to do um, to get to deal with those, because once they're not that, once they're just general balloons, my druids will just rip them apart. So if you get to a point where you're comrades or you're playing a solo game and you can't deal with them, that's why you want the sniper. This guy here, sniper monkey, get him in here and choose the first ability here, the top ability all the way to let me get some cash from the bank uh to get to this ability here and you want to always put the sniper on strong you can tell any tower to attack close strong it depends on the tower first uh some towers are are different so i wanted to attack strong I don't need the night vision because he's next to the tower that allows him to attack everything. So I want fast firing and there's two of them that you want to take here. And what that this guy does is he will destroy those big balloons now. Those, the, he pauses them and he'll just rip through them. So just with the four towers that I have here, I can win this game. Just with those four towers. That's the craziness thing here. All right, so we should put another bank down. Let's get another bank going, why not? See if I can squeeze it so I'll, I'll squeeze it down here. It doesn't matter because it's a bank. Now you can reduce the cost of items through the, I'll show you here once, through the uh, the tower or the this uh, tower that we had. There's certain trees that you can go, and one of them is the reduction of the, what it costs to upgrade towers around it. I didn't take that. Uh, it just doesn't seem practical for me to take that at this time. But I can show, I mean, let me just, let me just, uh, I should be able to go here. So this is what the monkey village is. If you did the bottom row here, this one is all about reducing the costs of things that are around the tower and those towers. So it wouldn't hurt, let me put it this way, it wouldn't hurt for me to, 
to, to show you this, let me just grab some money from the bank. So I can stick this tower right here. Actually, I will stick it right here. And then from here, I could choose monkey business. Provides a 10% discount to all monkeys and upgrades. So that's cool. An additional 5% discounts can stack with up to two other villages. That's cool. It's just this monkey commerce is what I want. This allows my monkeys, anytime they um, destroy something or hit something, will generate more wealth. So I need 12,000 for that. It won't hurt to choose bigger radius and jungle, jungle. So we need 12,000. So basically these towers abilities will stack. But now when, if I go to upgrade anything within the radius, it's gonna cost me less. So before the spirit of the forest was costing 47,000, now it only costs 42,000 to do it because of that towers boost. And right now this is just silly mode. We're just, I mean, so I've got only 5,000 collected, I've got 8,000 in the Fang. I should be able to pull off the 12,000 by just the earnings that I, um, I'm just simply making normally without having to pull from the bank. I, the only time I wanna pull from the bank um, next is to get the, the spirit of the forest gone. And you'll see how OP that is. So I only need 2,000 more um, cash here or the, or the coins. I mean, there's cash that you earn in the game to buy abilities and powers, and there's coins within the game that you play that you gotta earn to build more towers, upgrade towers, and whatnot. That's how it, that's how it works. So right now, I'm just waiting uh, patiently to get the 12,000 going. Come on. I don't wanna pull from the banks. I, want, I need that money for the, the Spirit of the Forest. What is going on here? What are we, oh, it's big balloons. See how they're pausing? That's because my sniper's hitting them. That's why they're pausing. So if you've got a small map and you really have got to, uh, if you got a, you've got a small map and you get to really manage those big balloons, then um, snipers are the way to go. They really do it. Now the helicopter does it too. The helicopter's got to push, but the sniper's ability is just OP. It really just slows them right down, especially if it's paired with this monkey village that's got the the you know the middle tree done because they can really affect so i've got eighteen thousand banked so far i need a lot more than that so we'll just wait on that so we've only got 10 more rounds see my sniper slowed down those uh so what we're going to do is we're going to we're at twenty six thousand we're going to get uh, a few more thousand here just uh Okay, so we're at the maximum capacity, so I'm gonna collect that. So you, so you only can collect so much interest and then it caps, so just watch out for that. So now I'm at 35,000. So to give this guy the, I need, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sell these, uh, that, uh, that bank, and I'm gonna pop the, pop the force. Uh, so now what you're gonna see is, now that I got the ultimate end thing of that tree, the entire map gets filled with thorns. Look at that. And the special ability that this uh, will earn is blowing them up, but I never do that. I just let them pile and collect. Just let them pile and collect. And at this point, whatever I put down here is just gravy. So I'm just gonna put another druid down. I'm just gonna do the middle. I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna collect my two grand and I'm gonna sell that bank. I'm gonna collect and I'm gonna sell the bank and then I'm just gonna put more druids down. I mean, if I was gonna do a, um, if I was gonna do like a free for all game at the end, I would have not killed those banks, but I'm not. I'm, I'm basically ending my play time when we hit a hundred rounds. So that I can just earn the, uh, now there is one druid that you can upgrade that affects other druids. I'll show you here. So if if I did this bottom one, there's a there's this guy that uh, now he will boost every this druid. The bottom tree boosts every other druid around him. See, they now have a boost, a speed boost. 
And so now I've just got druids. So the this druid's giving them all those all those other druid speed boosts. It, this is just ridiculous. And uh, let's see here. Do I even need this anymore? So I can sell this tower now. I don't really need it because I just was using it to reduce the cost. So I just got rid of that tower. So we're at round 98. I mean, really, honestly, this is just easy mode. I mean, they could delete every tower they own and I'd still be able to win this game just with the stuff that I have on. That's how OP druids are. They really are. And you'll notice that I didn't take any of the other trees. I just took the middle tree, uh, the, middle, the middle thing. You could add the lightning if that's what you wanted. But my sniper should be able to kill this thing. I mean, I, maybe I would need another sniper. Let me see if I can get another sniper out here. See, what they did is they didn't, this guy, these, these guys didn't put a lot of things in that, uh, that hurt the big ones. I mean, the, yeah, they didn't really go with, so I got an Insta Monkey for winning 100 rounds. So just look at it. Just look at the, the, the thing here. I didn't use any crap, and I've got, or any of the powers. I've got five, 500,000 to, I, I, I overdid both of these other guys. I overperformed both of those other guys, and they used the powers. That's the craziness of the thing about it. They used powers to play the game. I used no powers, and I outperformed them. That's, you know, so Druids is the way to go. You can really go a long way. They're playing now past level 100. It's just that we, we already got our reward for this thing. So I'm just going to move on and be done with it. So I'm just going to hit the escape button and go back to home. Is they okay? So what I was talking about, you earn this up at the right-hand corner, upper right-hand corner. You're going to see I've got 5,000 cash. That cash is used to buy powers. So you can, I like these cash drops at 200 a piece. And what's nice is it's just a boost of uh, cash you can pull out anytime you want in a game. So if you're bored and you just want to screw around, you can just drop some cash and you can get a leg up at the early rounds. It's a power, but it's, you, it's the only power that I use. And I, I seldomly use it. Now, as I was saying for heroes, the, heroes I, the hero I chose is this guy here. Um, who generates cash every round. Now you can play any hero you want, but in my opinion, money is the out, I mean, the money and the cash or the coins in, in game is what you're striving for. So the more, the more um, of that you can make, uh, then uh, the better off you're gonna be, you know, long-term through the game. So that's why I always use this guy. So if I go back and I look at my profile, you'll see that my top monkeys is druids. My next tower that I use is farms. And then the next um, thing I use is ninjas. Because ninjas, uh, they're pretty nasty too. They're, I think druids and ninjas are the most powerful uh, towers in the game. And you can apply them or use them together and they're just, they're just completely nuts on how powerful they are. The top hero, as you can see, I use the guy that makes me the money. I've only used these two because they, I, I, I had to earn this guy. So you don't get this guy right off. You actually have to buy into him uh, with the cash that you earn. And I did that early on because I know how OP that guy is. Well, that's it, folks. I just wanted to show you one strategy, one, one game, to, just to show you. I mean, the game's really fun. I played it on my tablet for years, got it from the Epic Store for free, loaded it up. I'm already 101 level. I've only been playing a few, you know, maybe a few days, I think. I mean, maybe a week. It's, it hasn't been long. All right. Well, thank you for joining me, and this has been the Tarkus Zone.